Today we're going to be installing some more carbon fiber on my C8. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing two new carbon fiber parts from Extreme Online Store. One is the cluster surround in carbon fiber. As you can see, it looks pretty darn nice and it is true carbon fiber as you can see right there. It matches all of the other weave, the, all the other parts that they have which happen to match the interior of the seats very, very well, the carbon fiber that's on the seats. And then this is the radio surround for the back of the screen. So this would be, so if you're looking at the screen from the driver's seat here, looking at it, you really don't see this. It, this is seen from the outside of the car when you're looking through the windshield. This is capping the back part of the radio. So these are both, again, very simple installations. You can see it's just, uh, just two-sided stick tape. This one will be very simple because it goes right on. This one here, little more entailed. You're going to take the, the tape off and we've got to slide it in and we've got to get it just right and get it on there perfectly straight and then we can press it in. So we're going to go ahead and do that here in just a second. So sit back and relax and I'm going to show you how it's done. All right guys, we're in the car and I've got myself scooted right up here as pretty much as tight as I can get. As I want to get right up in here. Now you can see this little guy right here, this this cover, it goes right here. It sits right there and you can see exactly where it goes. Okay, very simple. Okay, so what we're going to do is literally we're going to go ahead and take off the tape. Okay, we're going to do the, the easy one first. Okay, because the, the surround will be a little more, a little more tough. But we're going to go ahead and, it's not super hard, but this one will be much easier than the other one. Okay. Now what I should do while I'm taking the tape off, is let me set this down. Let me go ahead and wipe this down with some alcohol. I'm going to wipe this back here all the way down. Like that whole thing, and then we'll let it dry. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do that same thing on this, on the surround that we have here. Okay, so this way it will have a chance to have dried by the time we get we get everything all the all the sticky tape off okay there we go alright so we'll set that off to the side now we'll go back to taking our tape off now the tape actually comes off fairly easy um, normally I don't have the best of luck taking tape off as you know um, but these actually come off pretty easy so there's that. So now let me feel that. It's a little bit damp still. So we'll just wait a couple more seconds. And then we'll go ahead and we'll stick it on. Very, very simple to install, guys. This is I always say that things are simple. This is really simple. But um, true true carbon fiber, it matches all the other carbon fiber that's in the car. It just it they just really look great. And so there we go, now that's dry. So now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna get it right here to this edge and we're just gonna slide it right down like that. And there we go. Okay, and that's it. All right, that one's done. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next one. So the, the the uh, sticky tape is kind of, as you can see, it's kind of at an angle here, so this might be a little more of a challenge. Um, my fingers are fairly small, so I probably will be able to get them off, I'm hoping, uh, fairly easy. Okay, but if not, you could use a razor knife or you can use um, um, a pair of tweezers or something like that to get, to get the tape off. And I'll probably go ahead and fast forward this a little bit so you guys aren't sitting here watching me take the tape off. Get it together this way. There we go. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we gotta get it in here. We've gotta get it aligned, right? And then you're gonna kinda just wiggle. And you're gonna, this way you can feel that it's going in at the, in the right angle, okay? And then it's going to get where it's just a little bit snug, right? It's snug in between here, but it's not, all the tape is down on this outer edge, so it's still okay. But you wanna make sure that you push this in equally all the way around. That way the tape does it. And then at that point when you're ready, you just push it in like that, like that, like that, and you're good. Okay? And then you can push on the edges to get it to bite. And literally, that is all there is to it. So very, very, very simple. Um, and just adds to the look of the car. It looks so great. Um, so we've got another another uh, job that we're going to do in another video where we're going to put the the trim, the the um, carbon fiber trim, all across both sides here underneath the radio and underneath the dash, as well as in front of the driver. Um, and we'll be doing that in the next in another video. So stay tuned for that. And um, guys, um, let me see here if I can scoot the camera over just a little bit. You know I. I just want to point out to you guys that, and I've said this in one of my other videos, um, but I want to make it real clear, is that, you know, Extreme, they do a lot of different cars. They do lots of Corvette, as you know, then they do Camaros, and they do lots of different brands, Cadillacs, you name it. And for them to have all of it in stock, I mean, they have about 99% of the stuff they have on their website they have in stock. So when you get done watching this video and you go to their website and you say, hey, I want to get this, right? If it says it's in stock, it's in stock. I mean, I've almost never seen that where it's like maybe I order something right after, you know, or just before somebody else buys one, but it's very, very seldom. Typically, I order it, I get it within a week. It just always happens that way. But I've been talking to some friends lately that they've been buying stuff from other companies that, and I'm not going to say all companies are that way, but there is a lot of companies that are out there that they're not shipping right off the get-go. They don't have it in stock. They're either building it to order or they just don't have that, like they're going through somebody else to get the parts, right? So once you place an order with them, then they've got to order it and then they got to have it drop shipped and sometime that can take anywhere from a week to sometimes even a month and I've, I've even heard horror stories where it's even longer than that and I've just gotten so accustomed and used to having Extreme just send me out the parts you know when I place an order it's like okay I can tell my customers hey I'll have those in three to five days and almost always it is so it's something to be said for them that they stock all of these parts and they're here in the United States, right? So, so anyway, I uh, just wanted to say that. Um, I don't say that enough and I just, just realized it here recently that, that I was taking that for granted. So if you guys are, and I don't know about you, but I know I am, when I place my hard earned money out there to buy something, I mean, I want it yesterday. I don't really want it you know, three, four months from now, or even two weeks from now. I want it right now, right? So when they, when I get order tracking, get sent to me within either the same day or the very next day, and, and you know, I, I know it's gonna be here, it, it's, it's a nice feeling, right? So, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that. As far as you guys that are, haven't subscribed, you know, again, if you guys have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it so much. But those of you that have not, it would be great if you would. It really would. It would really help the channel, and I would really appreciate it. And, you know, I, I hope that I'm doing a good enough job. I want to be able to do a good enough job to be able to keep you guys interested and to show you all the different things that are out there that we can do. And... Um, so I'm always open. If you guys have suggestions or, or anything like that, please, constructive criticism, I'm even good with that. Put the notes in the bottom. 
I would love to be able to he be able to see and hear what you guys are saying. And those of you that do make comments, you guys know I typically almost always respond to you. So you know, it's whether it's a you know a great idea. Hey, you should have done it this way, or man, I really like how you did this, or whatever. But you know, I I do tend I really do watch what's going on, and I really do appreciate you guys watching the show. So. So anyway, um, enough of that. But I just uh, I just wanted to tell you, thank you guys. Um, here lately, I've, it's been uh, my comments have been very busy. I've had been getting a lot of emails. i have getting phone calls, and I'm getting them from all over the country, and it's just really nice. So you guys keep it coming. Uh, I'd love to be able to hear even more of you guys, and um, and we're just going to keep trying to bring you as much content as we possibly can. But subscribing helps me do that. So anyway. All right, guys, enough of that. I'll catch you on the next video. You guys have a good night, okay?